do 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 Hey, Internet friends, this is Magic Brad with The Magic Brad Show. Let me give you a little peek of that. I got it, I've got to get prepared here with my little, uh, that right there. There it is. <laughs> the Magic Brad Show. It's uh, Monday. Yesterday we went up to the North Shore. I'm not sure how this is sounding right now because I'm going off of the actual laptop computer. I was going to do a test because I wanted to be able to I got my extended microphone. I like to do hardwire stuff instead of Wi-Fi because it just works better. So I'm going to do a test right now. You're seeing this without a microphone connected, and I'm going to plug it in. Ready? So test one, two. Does that sound different? Also, I don't know if I can uh, interact with you folks here, but I'm going to put a little uh, Dealey Bobber in here if you want to... Uh, interact i think you have to click on that link that's on um to, to allow Streamyard the ability to access facebook because we're all concerned about that privacy stuff you know anyways so let's see here i'm trying to get a few things uh in order i'm gonna put my little chaser on there so you know this is i'm using Streamyard now which is pretty cool see that little thing down there it gives me a little plug for the magic bread show ongoing thing that's kind of cool like that so it's monday it's 11 a.m here in the united states central time i'm in minneapolis minnesota just got done talking or chatting on facebook with someone from nepal um Kathmandu. and i've got a couple of friends that are from nepal they started a restaurant here um Sojine and um i can't i can't remember their name but i can't even pronounce them right Sunny and I can't remember. <laughs> but they started here with a little tea shop because their father has a big tea plantation in Nepal. And uh, then they started a restaurant, real good Nepal food. Um, it's called Namaste Cafe in uptown Minneapolis. Anyway, it's enough with the chit chat. Let me get into it. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much. Oh, please, 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 please hold your applause. So, I'm going to talk a little bit about the COVID thing, and you kind of wonder, is it, is it that bad on our health or is it that bad on our wealth? Because it's affecting a lot of businesses, and it's affecting people. They're dying and stuff, too. But it's really weird how some of these people are they're polarizing this. And I saw some stuff about a lady who was wearing a mask, and she went up to a picnic, a family picnic, <clears throat> and sprayed them with mace. I don't know if it's true, if it's one of them fake videos or whatever, but it's bizarre, people. Knock it off. Quit it. Be nice. Jeez, your opinions. If you're not wearing a mask, you're damned if you do. You're damned if you do. You're damned if you don't. <laughs> so just be smart. If there's people around and the mask is required in a store, put on a damn mask. If it doesn't work for you, then shop somewhere else. You know, the, the business has the right to refuse service. They're a private business, and it's not a discrimination thing. It's just we're in a situation right now. So chill out. Just deal with the rules and quit shaming people for not doing certain things. I mean, they got situations. And if you're so afraid of being getting sick, stay home yourself. Have someone do your grocery shopping for you and then sterilize it, and they can spoon feed you or something. But quit being pissed off at everybody. That's, that's my public service announcement. Let's have some, let's see, what, what do I got here? Nah, 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 that would be good. That's a good idea. That's it. Let's be nice. Be peaceful. Peace. So I've got a few other things I was going to discuss. And let me try my little uh, from a distance kind of thing. See, look at this. Can you hear me okay? You can hear me okay? You can hear me okay? And I got my little cord on here. Woo. I do that sometimes if I'm going to do a stand-up presentation and show you some magic tricks and do some shadow puppets or something on the back wall. It's not a green screen either. This is real authentic, real deal. So the other topic I wanted to talk about, I got some notes here, but that's my little COVID rant about the health part. It's also a concern of the wealth part because people are out of work. My background was in the events industry and the hospitality industry, and a lot of people in hospitality, events, travel, and tourism 
lost their jobs, lost their business, and they have no income, and they had to jump through hoops to maybe get a little income, and they've got bills to pay, and people are going to start knocking on the door asking for that money. So there's a there's a, a wealth situation in addition to the health situation with this COVID thing, and we got to wait figure out a way of getting out of it, and we got to figure out a way of doing it from the left and the right, and come to an understanding and an agreement to be able to get through this thing, rather than yelling at people that, well, Donald Trump said to drink Clorox, and he's trying to kill everybody. If you're so stupid, you're going to drink Clorox because the president told you to. <laughs> uh, what president? Some people don't like Donald Trump. I kind of ride the middle. I don't care. But use your own common sense, you know. On your birth certificate, it has a little thing on the bottom there that says, I'm responsible for my own activities. That means you're responsible. Maybe that's not on your birth certificate, but it should be. <laughs> so let's get into something else. Earning online. A lot of people are going to have to learn how to online, uh, learn to earn income online. Unless they've got a job where they say, okay, you can work from home. Here's the your tasks and you get paid your hourly rate. You're going to have to learn how to start your own deal or something, whether it be network marketing or affiliate marketing or doing you know, your own business, coaching people, or maybe you can do online entertainment. I got some magician friends that are doing shows and they do them online. They, they use a PayPal account or some kind of uh, payment processing system like Stripe or something like that. And they get paid by doing the shows on the internet. So that's what we've got to do until it breaks loose. So if you don't know how to earn online, you better start learning because uh, we don't know how long this thing is going to last. And aside from that, it's just the way of the world these days to be able to, I mean, every, everybody's on their dang phone. I look at my tracking stat statistics, my online uh, uh, analytics and stuff, and there's like 70, 80 percent are all on phones. They're all on mobile phones. So that's where it's all going. Everybody's, I mean, it's that's the way it is. So I'm researching different products that are available. I've got one that's a referral network for restaurants. If you want to have your customers refer other people to come to your restaurants, it's a software that, uh, that automates that process for them and gives you reviews and all that. If you want to know more about it, you can go to, where is it? Where is it? You can go to mymagicdeal.com. That's the domain name that I've got currently directed to the Referizer um, app. And it's uh, this is it goes to my affiliate link. So a disclaimer is I might earn some money if you decide to use this program. <laughs> Just so you know, that's how I'm earning my income now. So it's called My Magic Deal. You can uh, go there, but that's going to be temporary. That's not going to be there forever. It's just there for the duration that I'm promoting this thing, this referral program. So take a look. Um, other than that, let's see what else I want to talk about. Earning online uh, sort of leads me into this. Uh, I would. I don't know if I call it a debate, but some people have that that uh, left right mindset. All they can think about is one thing or the other. All they can think about is uh, left politics, right politics, Republican, Democrat. All they can think about is black lives or white lives or or blue lives or no lives. <laughs> or people are very myopic in their thinking. They do need to expand. So I'm not talking about affiliate marketing versus network marketing. I'm not making a claim on either one. I'm saying that there's pros and cons of each. Now on the affiliate marketing side, let me explain what that is. Basically what it is, it's a middleman. The middleman when the internet came in was kicked out of the picture. The internet gave us the ability to go direct to the manufacturer or direct to the, the wholesaler. So it sort of got the middleman out of the way. And then some smart people like Jeff Bezos stepped in and created a thing called Amazon and created that middleman platform for merchants to be able to sell their products and services to the customers on the other side. And it's a matter of matching it up to make sure that the product matches the customer so that they make the purchase. So affiliate marketing is just being the middleman. So I represent multiple products. I'm promoting uh, Kartra, which is an online platform for building out lead pages and landing pages and opt-in forms and mail lists and all that stuff. I promote that, that software service. So that is a software service for marketers to use to promote. You see these things all the time. Give me your email address and your name. 
that's what Kartra does. So that's one of the products that I promote. There's some other educational products. One is called Easy One Up. In fact, I'll give you a link to that if you want to go to a place. It's called Our Magic Deal because I'm collaborating with some other people on this. Our Magic Deal. That goes to this other program called Easy One Up. Um, in the front of it, it starts talking a bunch about money, money, money. Yes, there's money to be made, but what it's about is education. Inside the program teaches you how to be an entrepreneur, how to be uh, have the right mindset of a self-employed person, um, how to do Facebook marketing, how to use YouTube and things like that. So that's our magic deal. Not my magic deal, but our magic deal right there. So, Smokey. So the concept of network marketing versus affiliate marketing. Affiliate marketing is that. Network marketing is more of a network, and it, it goes down in like a pyramid shape, <laughs> like a tree trunk, tree roots. And unfortunately for that industry is everybody thinks about it as a pyramid scam. It's not necessarily a scam because it's still there. Some of them get shut down because they're not following the rules, but it's not really a scam. But it isn't an easy thing to do. Of course, none of this business stuff is an easy thing to do. But the thing with, uh, with network marketing is you build a team. You need to be able to build a team. Whereas affiliate marketing, you could build a team if you wanted, but it's really more, more linear. It's like a one-off compensation plan. Whereas network marketing goes down in a, in a, a tree and you got to grow that team up because you're only getting small percentages from all those people. And you got to grow that big group. And that's a part of a challenge with it. If someone's not a, a leader and a charismatic personality, they can be challenged with growing a big team unless they are very savvy with the whole internet marketing thing because this stuff is making a hybrid. They're using online sources to be able to build up a network marketing program. Let me check my time. I've been going for 12 minutes. I don't like to do these too long because we have that commodity of time. We don't want to waste your time. I'm going to see if I got some comments here. It looks like I do have two. We got Kalash Joshi. How are you? I am wonderful. And then I've got Facebook user. Uh, that's somebody that didn't, uh, didn't show their name. It just says Morning Brad. I don't know who that is. Um, Kashi, how are you? I am wonderful. Kalish, Kalash. It's so hard to pronounce these, uh, these names from all over the world these days. I'm kind of used to Mike and Janet and Fred and Brad and Steve. And now we've got a lot of different names. So what do we got? We got, looks like we got a couple more questions. Nope, that's something else. So those are the two different types of marketing uh, capabilities. Now what I do with this, I do a lot of video because I believe in the whole business world that nothing really happens until you know, like, trust, and respect the person that you're working with. Unless it's like a retail thing where they just go in and they buy the product and they don't care who the cashier is, no big deal. The company had to do some marketing for you to earn the respect of like McDonald's and who's this? Oh, it's Mike Wilkie. Hi, Mike Wilkie, he's a Facebook user. Good to know. I'm not sure why your thing didn't, it probably didn't go on there because you didn't click the the thing to be seen, but now you've exposed yourself, Mike. We know who you are. For those that don't know, Mike Wilkie's my cartoonist magician friend. He does cartoons with a magic theme and uh, writes for uh, magic publications and things. So, little plug for Mike Wilkie, watermelon bones. Um, let's see, where was I? I was talking about network marketing. Enough of that. I'm telling you that I do video because. <laughs> of the no like and trust factor. I do it so that you know who I am and hopefully you'll end up being able to like me and we can get connected and get to know each other and then you can trust me and possibly you want to do some business and buy some of the software that I'm promoting or buy some of the buy into some of the programs that I'm promoting or maybe we just be friends and learn from each other uh, because we may end up uh, not having coffee. We may end up just doing this Zoom stuff because of these viruses running around. I don't know what's going to be happening. So that's what I'm doing. I've got a YouTube channel. I would really appreciate it if you go to my YouTube channel and you can get there by going to, no, that won't work. You can go to, you can go to magicbrad.com. I should have that in here. So I'm going to create it. 
let me create a banner right here, right in front of you, M-A-G-I-C-B-R-A-D.com. Go to There it is. Go to magicbrad.com. So if you just go to magicbrad.com, I've got a link on there for my YouTube channel. And if you would uh, like to go see what's on my YouTube channel, I'm still working it out, making it better. I've only got about 560 subscribers or something like that. So if you like it, please subscribe. And there's also a little notification bell, thumbs up thing. If you could thumbs up my video or make some comments, let me know what you think. It would be much appreciated. So that's the story of Morning Glory. I'm going to sign this off. We've been going for 15 minutes plus. We're looking up on 16 minutes. I appreciate you taking the time. Please be safe. Please be kind. Please be friendly. And uh, enjoy your life. Take care of yourself and your family and your neighbors. Peace, love, and happiness. Magic Brad signing off. Watch this. This will be dramatic. Ready?